What's up, YouTube? You know who it is. This is your boy Mims, and I'm coming at you guys with a Call of Duty Black Ops video, which has been so long since I've came to you guys with a Call of Duty Black Ops video. But let's cut to the chase. Today's uh, topic of discussion is going to be not. It's, it's going to be more like a rant over here because some th because this isn't even funny. You know, this is just cruel. Israeli clubs, clubs in Israel. So like, um, for all my boys going out there and clubbing, you know, go heading to. Whether you're in LA, heading to Hollywood, or you're in Vegas, you know, getting all freaky and crazy, I don't even want to know. But first of all, I know you. Uh, some people might have heard Israel, you know, Tel Aviv, sick clubs, you know, you gotta head there. So let me tell you the Israeli mindset. Number one, first, firstly, you have a bunch of guys. Number one, it's, all right, no, 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 I have to go even back, further back than that. So. One thing about Securing these clubs is it's all out survival of the freaking fittest, man. Like, in America, let me tell you how it works. And I'm not going to lie because every guy has this. In America, it's, all right, you got, all right, man, Sh snap. Okay, so should I go dance with this girl? Should I not? Oh, no, I'm going to wait for the right song. Right song comes on. He goes, uh, uh, the girl start, uh, notices the guys behind him. He looks at the guy, and the guy's like, ooh, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at something else. I'm not thinking of doing anything. Don't trip. I was just looking at that wall over there. Yeah, look, the wall. Nah, I'm just messing. But you guys know we have those moments. But in Israel, how it works is it's like it doesn't matter. There's no finish, basically. And what I mean by that is once you go... You're in the club, you dance with a girl, you might be hooking up with a girl or something. I don't know, whatever you guys want to do. Um, an Israeli guy will still come up to you. Regard I, I, I'm going to tell you a story I, because this will probably make it the easiest to understand. I was in a club one time, you know, doing my thing, you know, with a girl. I was kind of... Uh, Kind of like I closed the deal and everything as I get the sweet double kill like I closed that deal But I closed the deal with uh, the girl and everything so I'm just I'm just like chilling with her So out of nowhere Out of freaking nowhere while I'm hooking up with this girl on the wall Guy comes listen to this ridiculous first guy comes over to me and in Hebrew says I need a uh, I need a I need you to back me up I'm about to get into a fight and I'm like looking at him like, what? And then he's like, yeah, I need you to help me out. I'm like, dude, I don't know you. I ain't helping you. I don't know you at all. Get away from me. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get busy over here. You, you, what happened to the bro code, homie? What's wrong with you? So <laughs> what happens is guy, uh, next guy comes over to me. And this is, the, this is some freaky deaky shit. Like I'm hooking up with a girl and everything. And then out of nowhere, out of freaking nowhere, some guy starts dancing with the girl while I'm hooking up with her. And at this point, I started feeling a little uncomfortable because, dude, I'm only into chicks. You know, I, I don't want to have no three ways on the dance floor with you. Get away from me, you know, like go find your own girl. Um, I understand, like, there's not, there's not so many girls in the club because in Israel, what could I say? It's not America. You don't have a lot of girls in, the cl in clubs. It's very hard. It's very hard to find. Once you find, you stick to it. You know, it's not like, all right, on to the next one up in here, which sucks. I miss America. I'm coming home soon, baby. But <laughs> anyways, um, at the end, the guy, I, I look at the guy. I'm like, what the hell are you doing, yo? And then the guy's like, oh, uh, and like he starts acting all awkward. And this Smitty guy just kills me all game long. So annoying. God damn. But. What happens is, I'm like, what are you doing, you know, like, what, I just give him the look, you know, I give him the Mims look, like, come on, like, the look I give to Coop every single time he takes a stupid shot in NBA 2K11 crew, shots fired, but, <laughs> like, I was just weirded out by this guy, and at the end of the day, I'm like, dude, get away from me, you know, uh, and number one, all right, take this lesson to heart for all those guys who are planning to go to Israel. If you ever plan to go to Israel, like I get that double kill right up in there. So, if you ever plan up on going to Israel, you have to know okay, one thing: the here. number double kill up in here. What you have to do is go up to an Israeli guy. The biggest. All right, I should have helped out my teammate over there. The biggest insult 
in the in the world in the history of Israel. Damn it, Smitty! In the uh, history of Israel for guys, I need to stop getting sidetracked. Is calling them a homo. And I'm sorry if there's any gay people watching my um, video. You know, I'm not being racist or sexist or you know biased, but. That's the number one insult that uh, you can say to them. So they'll look at you and they'll legit double kill up in here. They'll try to, they'll legit like take a knife out on you and they'd be like in their Israeli accent, what did you say to me? And then I, uh, like, they'll go crazy. They're that, they're like really insecure fools up in there. So, number one insult for Israelis, just remember that one. Honestly, besides that, I really haven't learned much in here. So if all you guys who are worried about me becoming a super religious Jew, nah, you don't gotta worry. I'm about I'm about to come back to um, the states in two weeks. It's January 17th in two weeks. Speaking of two weeks, Merry Christmas to everybody from your boy Mims. I know it's been a little late, but still, you know, it's better late than never. But if you like this black of these black ops video and dang it Smitty, this guy Smitty, I think he's the only guy that killed me all game. If you like this black ops video, just let me know. I'm gonna come at you guys. I have like two more left. I'm just getting them, getting them out. Well, get them and get them, getting them out. And one thing I'm gonna miss in black ops was I liked making my own emblems. Sure, there was those losers that would go out and make like KKK emblems and like racist derogatory emblems but still the whole I, I just liked making my emblem you know I liked repping the Lakers you know and I don't even want to talk about the Lakers actually the Lakers go, uh, starting out 0 for 2 that was just some ugliness uh, I don't want to talk about it there you go I got you Smitty took me some camping but I got you I'm about to whip out the marshmallows start a nice little campfire maybe get a tent out and Oh wow, I gotta bring out my singing voice. So, right here. Tri 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 triple kill up in here! Alright, was that? Yeah, wow, my computer just froze on me. I couldn't even enjoy that triple kill. So, whatever. So, I know my channel isn't a big Black Ops channel. You know. So, if you guys like the Black uh, if you guys like this Black Ops video, you guys gotta let me know so I can know if I'm doing well. If you guys want to hear more stories like that in Israel, you got from Israel. I got plenty of them. I got some nice videos of my retarded roommates and us going ahead in the town. So if you guys want to know, and I got them dogs, you know. Um, I'll just damn it, Smitty again. Shit. Like, just let me know. I'll bring them to you. I'll bring them all the weird stories and. Look at this. I think I was going for dogs again. Was I? I don't. I don't know. I was just following them. That's like the number one thing. I used to have a root, uh, friend saying, "Yo, come on, you gotta follow the dogs. You can't just let them loose." And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try that. It actually worked out really well because everyone's like panicking. Look at Mims rushing with the Galil. He's not even using the MP5K. He's using the freaking Galil of all guns. So I'm gonna keep rushing, rushing. Like my name's Demarcus Ware. Speaking of that, Romo bruised hand. We got, I got, all right. I've been losing a lot of bets lately. Like, I, your boy is in serious debt with all the bets he's been making. I, I lost the Lakers Bulls one, which I don't even want to talk about. I lost Jets Giants and Cowboys Eagles, which is kind of not fair, but still. <laughs> but, any, uh, <clears throat> anyways. Oh, right here. That was just some BS up in there. Like, I just die out of nowhere. And get ready for the biggest chopper gunner fail you've ever seen in your entire lives. Um, so anyways, you guys, the countdown is on. I think it's exactly three weeks. My bad. It's exactly three weeks, 21 days. Your boy flies in on January 17th. First thing I'm going to do is probably play 2K12 because I didn't get the chance to play 2K12. And, no, well, actually I did, but an upload uh, video for you guys? Nah, I didn't. Which is something I know you guys are counting down for. I'm expecting all my old subs to come back and say, oh yeah, Mims has finally got 2K12. We're gonna sub to him again. But anyways, YouTube, I get the blackbird at the buzzer for the XP. It's your boy Mims signing off. Final score, 59 to five. If you like the video, please thumbs it up and let me know if you want more of these stories. Peace.